later thank you so much for all the love that you showed me on my previous video and also all the videos that i've uploaded thank you very much for the new subscribers the new comments and also the new likes in today's video i want to show you how i use poundland items to get like quality on my kitchen floor now this video will be part one of part two videos so it is quite long so that's why i have to split it in two but i'm just going to show you that you don't need to spend a lot of money to get quality so um stick around if you want to see how i transform my kitchen floor into something really spectacular thank you guys so much and let's go straight to the video and then this is what my kitchen looks like um, for the moment. So these are the tiles that I got from Poundland. They're one pound for three pieces. And it, I think it's quite reasonable. And this is what the packet um, actually looks like. So if you go into your Poundland store, just look out for these ones. They have different colors, but I choose this one because I want to do other stuff in my kitchen to make it a little bit lighter because it's quite dark in there. And because I don't have that much window, I have a small window, so it's not that bright. So enough light doesn't come into my kitchen. So I took um, my measure and then I just measured out the um, section where I need to cut out. That's basically from around the radiator. And then I just used my scissors and just carefully cut it out. Um, just please, please be very careful um, with the scissors because as I said before, you don't want to cut yourself during this time where you have to make your way to the hospital. So just be very careful. And then I just used this little blade that um, Gabo gave to me and then just um, cut from the inside where the scissors is unable to reach. Carefully twist it out because the tile breaks quite easily if you flex it too hard. So just carefully take it out. And then from there, just, I mean, I've cleaned my surface before, but I just want to make sure there is no dust or anything because um, the back of the tile is um, adhesive and I don't want it to attach to any um, dust or anything. And then there's upright um, angles as to how you need to place the tiles down. So just take it off and then just start laying down the tiles. because as I said I want um, my kitchen to be a little bit lighter because I don't have enough light so you can choose different color use your hand to hold down the tile firmly so it sticks to the floor and then you just repeat the same step um, you know basically to lay the tiles down mindful that you get uh, the tile into the line that is on the first one so the second tile just try to lay it as neat as possible and as close as possible so you don't get that huge gap in the middle as possible just to get it quite um, neat and then just to get it in place correctly so you just repeat these steps until you finish um, the entire area of your kitchen that you want to um, put the tiles onto you will see in um, further along the video I had to take up back the tiles because it the glue or the adhesive on the back of the tile isn't that strong as you can see I have um, laminated floor and it's quite shiny so it's not holding the tile as perfectly as it should if it was an, a raw you know wood floor that isn't um, you know polished or anything so I had to use um, a glue to hold the, the, the tiles down onto the kitchen floor. Yeah, so here I am. I'm using um, no nail because it, it's not that strong to hold it, as I said to you, because um, the laminate is quite shiny, but you can use a stronger adhesive. So 
but because this is a rental property I don't want to you know do anything that can serve too long and then I'm in trouble or anything so depending on how you want to manage it but I just use the no nail for the moment because it holds it in place and it's and it's quite secure and it doesn't leave any huge gaps in the middle so if, if this is you you can absolutely use the no nail I'm using is from the pound line and they're just one pound each oh I forgot to say the tiles that I've used I actually bought um, 23 packs so it's three in one so yes yeah, so I bought 23 packs and um, yeah so and then after I finished um, laying all the tiles around the kitchen after moving the cooker the washing machine and the fridge and everything I put a glove on because we will be gluing um, where the tile meet but not as close as possible and also I want it to um, stay together for quite long and I don't want any kind of lifting to be you know so quickly so I'm just using this glue that I got again from the pound land and I'm just going around um, into the into the middle bit of where the tile meets and then just try to glue it together Please use the gloves for this because the glue, sorry, please use the gloves for this because the glue dries out your hand and then my hand, I started first just using my hand and my hand was dry and stiff so please use the gloves for this process. And then this is what it looks like after I've covered the whole um, section of the kitchen with the glue in those gaps. I'd already done the cooker, the fridge, and the washing machine area, so I don't need to do it again. And then I just used this blade to um, scrape off the excess glue um, because I will be um, attempting to clean, or not attempting to, I will be cleaning um, the rest of the glue off with um, just warm soap water because I don't need a lot of, um, you know, chemical or anything on it. As you can see, I just put a little bit into a bucket and not too wet for the cloth and then just wipe it so as I scrape I just wipe as I go along and yeah this is what it looks like after I finished it and I'm quite impressed because you can't tell that this is Poundland tiles and it looks absolutely amazing to me it looks so nice um, Gabo told me how the kitchen looks so different the kids told me how the kitchen looks so different and bright as well so I'm quite happy with the result that I've gained from these Poundland tiles and to be honest it would have cost me a lot more to get somebody to come in to do it because I'd have to pay for labor and then I have to pay for the tiles so you have the time on your hand just do something amazing so stick around for my next video guys it will be awesome